up everybody welcome back to another video here on the ls blue youtube channel today's video we're going to be working on removing the helper springs off of the s10 i've looked around for some videos on youtube and i can't find any so i'm gonna to try to make my own um i hope i do this right i'm sorry if i'm squinting the sun's really bright we're getting the truck ready to go drag racing this weekend so i'm hoping everything works out and looks good everything's a little bit rusty underneath from all the snow and all these the salt where i've been driving it a little bit but it'll be okay they haven't been on there very long so it shouldn't be should be no big deal to get off but we're going to jump right into it and see what happens why are you filming me quit it i'm filming my truck all right so the first thing we've got to do is get the truck up get the jack stands under get the tire off and then we can proceed with taking the u-bolts loose to take the spring off i'm also going to chalk the front wheels just to be on the safe side the truck is now up on jack stands and we are going to remove this spring here the bolts Now before we go very far, I just want to address the squealing noise in the background. I know it's very annoying and I didn't realize that it was doing it while I was working on the truck. It is the furnace in the shop. It squalls really loud and it's really annoying. And I tried to adjust the audio, but this is the best I can get. I do apologize for that. Well that bolt there is the one that we need to remove. Down in there. Bolt. Move that out of the way. Now I'm going to take the jack, jack the rear end up, and take the lowering block out, and then take this bolt off. If it comes off, so this is the take the lowering screw. block out of the way. There is the bolt that right there. This nice there. rusty bolt. And there is the nut. There. 15 millimeter is the correct socket. what happens. I believe it is going to break. No, it did not break. It's coming loose. Put a little slick on it. Probably should have done this beforehand. And our appropriate size for the top is going to be a um, pair of fit them all. Looks like it is. As you can see, the nuts coming off of there, which is excellent. Nuts off. Now the spring should just fall right off like that. The spring is off. So right here, the bolt seized up and I just went ahead and cut it and got a new one. Don't waste your time with putting the old bolt back. Just get a new one. Fresh bolt would be ideal when I'm fresh out. And this time we're gonna use the old nail wall. Push fit them all back on there pretty good. All right, now if you get a new bolt, you need to make sure that the bolt you get will go into your lowering block because the lowering block sits on the spring, the head of the bolt sits above the spring, 
and this bolt is obviously a little too large. So I'm just gonna do a little, a little clearance in right there to make it fit. Let the vice grips loose. Make sure that is back where it is supposed to be. The spacer between the two should go all the way through. Take my vice grips, take the springs back together. Ahead and tighten them back down. I know this is the right bolt, but there we go. Now I do have the appropriate size. That way we're not putting vice grips on it again. Helper spring has been removed. Now I'm going to reinstall the block. You can go up with the jack a little bit. Gonna do the trick right there. Move all this back. So there's an expensive lesson in all this. That if you're going to do this and replace or remove the leaf spring the helper spring and not replace the u-bolts replace the u-bolts because they won't go back on and you're technically supposed to so i have some new ones here and hopefully we don't have this issue anymore so i'm installing these new e-bolts mainly because the bolts the u-bolts that i had earlier if you notice did not work. It is okay to use jack to help you out. To raise up the perch, whatever you want to call it. Ready to get it done. Might need to bend them together some by hand or with a vise. Got to guide up, guide the perch. That way your your mount bolt. Oops. The mount bolt lines up there. So whenever it goes in the hole, that means you're lined up. Should be good right there. It's a lot easier to do this with the shocks off. Is you you put your nuts on there your washers and your nuts and tighten them home now in this situation if you're installing you new u-bolts and when you remove that spring that spring is going to force your u-bolts your nuts to go onto the u-bolts a little bit more because there's not there's not as much there and you won't run into this problem well it's okay to take a grinder and just cut these u-bolts make sure you're wearing safety glasses and all the proper safety equipment to do this but that is no big deal now once you have the bolt cut you can go ahead and tighten the nut but I'm gonna go ahead and cut the other side all four of them all four are cut Make sure these are nice and tight after you drive it some that is how you 
remove the leaf, the helper leaf spring off of these trucks. There's nothing to it. I will weigh them real quick and include that in this video. All right, we got this little raggedy scale. As you can see, it's not quite zeroed out. They weigh about 20 pounds, 10 pounds each. So you'll save about 20 pounds by taking them off. I'm running out of storage on my phone. That's gonna be all for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you click thumbs up, subscribe, share this video. We are going drag racing this weekend. If the weather stays nice, we got a bunch of rain last night and a lot of Bowling Green is flooded, but that's gonna be it and we'll see it.